Um, well, um, firstly, I, you know, through my art, I, I celebrate uh, life and uh, I celebrate the beauty around me. And I hope that uh, connection that I have with, with life, which is deep and, uh, you know, uh, hopefully getting deeper on a spiritual level, translates into my work. So that's very important for me. Uh, I hope that connection is made with, with the viewer. Um, you know, we, it's, it's how we look at life. And, um, uh, you know, what better way to celebrate that beauty than through a woman? Um, because I think, I think, you know, uh, women are, are, you know, manifestations of, um, of uh, fragility and, uh, you know, uh, the, the face can be uh, so, so simple yet so complicated and it can say so much, uh, you know, reveal so much yet conceal so much and uh, hence, uh, you know, I've been, uh, I've been painting the portrait series for the last um, two years now. I've always been uh, a figurative uh, artist mostly. I've been painting the figure for many years now. Um, and from the figure, from, from, from life, I have gone into the portrait uh, where um, I, you know, I'm trying to, I don't know, um, demystify or I'm trying to sort of solve a whole lot of, um, I think my own, uh, my own questions that I pose to myself. Um, I, I want to, um, you know, the face um, is, a, is a work of art and I want to sort of expose that through my work uh, and, um, you know, we all go through our struggles, our dilemmas, um, my own struggle between being an artist and a woman. Um, so I, I sort of, I think, um, I like to solve those issues maybe while, while I paint. So, um, and I'm, I'm also, uh, what I've been doing in the last year and a half is I've been doing my Ganesh series. Um, Lord Ganesh is a Hindu god um, of the Hindu, of the Indian pantheon and uh, he's a very popular god, you know, you see Ganesh everywhere. He's a bringer of luck, he's a lord of granting your boons, he's um, the lord of beginnings and uh, his image is uh, very, very powerful. Um, he is known as the elephant god and people have uh, Lord Ganesh everywhere in handbags and uh, you know in, uh, in neon signs in villages in India in the beginning of, in the you know in the beginning of your house you have to put a Ganesh it brings luck so I thought you know this I was awed by the power of uh, Ganesh's uh, image uh, but um, in India Ganesh is represented in a very realistic way you know um, and I I think divinity is so abstract and uh, hence I I've approached it in a more, uh, not in a definitive way. So I've, I, I hope people can see the Ganesh and I hope the form sort of uh, converges into being Ganesh in my Ganesh work. Now, you do not title your artwork. Let's talk a little bit about why you do not put titles to your work. Well, um, you know, I feel um, an artist creates his, his or her own world while painting and um, life outside really ceases to be, it becomes about the art. So I think there's so much in there in any case. So when you're finished with, with the work, the, the art itself speaks a, a thousand words. So, uh, you know, I feel a title it will impose a certain direction, um, you know, a certain way. I think that can impose a certain constriction and limitation into how you see something because then you're directed to see something in a certain way. Whether, uh, and it's bound to influence your thought process regarding the work. Um, like for example, if you meet someone and you suddenly know they're from a certain country or you hear their name, you start thinking of them in a certain way rather than in a more open fashion. So I felt uh, that I've never, I've never thought my work uh, needed that because after I'm done with my art, it belongs to the viewer. It's his um, experience and relationship with the work that counts and uh, not my direction because what I had to say is said on the canvas. 
Well, I, I come from a very artistic family. Um, you know, my father is a, was a, a very renowned filmmaker and an actor and a, a film uh, editor and a writer. He was a very, very, uh, he had a great artistic spirit and uh, lived larger than life. You know, so my brother and I had a, not a very conventional childhood. Um, you know, we had artists, writers, you know, literary people in our home all the time. So I guess, you know, the influences from there um, was strong. My mother is very artistic. Uh, she's a designer. In fact, she, um, you know, she encouraged me a lot. I'm, I have to say, she, it was her encouragement that gave me confidence to believe that I could, uh, I could actually paint and that someone would appreciate my work, you know, which was, I think, now that I'm looking back, I think it was, it's the most important thing that could have happened to me as an artist. And um, I, um, I loved uh, the solitariness uh, that one uh, could experience in, your, in, in an art studio, you know, because with painting, it's just you and your work. You know, there's no addition of anything to help your work look better. Nothing can be sub subtracted. It's what you, it's between you and your, that sole control you exert on the work, which I think uh, for me was very challenging. And uh, there were no lies. So, you know, and, and I think, you know, it, as you paint and over the years, you can see your growth or you may not even see your growth. So it's, you know, it was, it was that that led to me painting. Well, um, like I, I said earlier, I, I think, you know, I, I wanted to, I wanted to paint and um, solve a lot of, um, you know, issues that I raised for myself with my work. Um, for example, I, I, I love uh, textures. Like in 19, in the early 90s, I was working with sand on canvas. Um, I, I work with acrylic textures. Um, now I work with gold leaf because you know it's like uh, it's like I, I love I love gold. I um, I think it has so much power. Uh, it, it you cannot uh, you cannot ignore gold, <laughs> you know. And uh, I just love the I love earth colors. Um, I. Um, uh, you know, I, I love exploring the mysteries of female beauty, and uh, they're, they're, you know, we, we people experience and go through so many struggles in our life. We have dilemmas with our own personalities, and we um, raise so many issues. So I wanted to, you know, I wanted to sort of uh, explore that and 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 bring that spirit um, into into my work. And is there anything we? Uh, not talking about that you would like to mention or feel important to mention? Well, I, I think, um, you know, I, I feel art is um, a very, very important spirit. Uh, you know, it's yeah. a very uh, uh, important expression of the human spirit and um, it serves very primal and uh, spiritual functions in my daily life. And, uh, you know, for me, when, um, when someone who's bought my work, say, you know, five years ago, because I've been selling for, I mean, for a while now, and, um, and say that, hey, you know the work of yours that we bought 10 years ago? Uh, I can't tell you, it's just makes, even today when I look at it, I find something new in it. That for me is, um, is, is the best part about, uh, you know, being an artist. And uh, I hope I continue to be able to do that. I hope I continue to evolve, because I think, uh, evolving is very important, and um, yeah, you have to give yourself time uh, between between shows to be able to say something new. That's important, and uh, I'm, I'm I'm so excited actually to show here in New York, and I hope I'm I'm so happy I had the opportunity with Agora Gallery, and uh, you know I just want to see how different cultures respond to my work, which is very interesting. Where else have you shown? I've, I've shown in India a lot, in Delhi, in Bombay. I had my first solo show in, uh, in Delhi in um, 1991. And then um, I've, had, I've had a few shows then. Then my last solo was in 2007 in Bombay. And now I hope to do one quite soon.